So what we have here is a, uh, a 76-year-old female who has had a previous vein stripping, how many years ago was that? 35 years ago. She presents with recurrent varicosities uh, of the right leg. More importantly, uh, leg cramps and swelling, and her ultrasound evaluation revealed a couple of interesting things. This is, uh, you can see the black marks. The black marks indicate the, the areas of, of varicose veins, but what she has is two things. She has a perforator, a large perforator, uh, coming off the femoral vein here, and we'll look at it on the screen. It's an echolucent structure coursing from lower left to sort of upper right. And you'll see as I move the, move the probe down her leg, that feeds directly into the large varicosities just below her skin, just above the knee. So in the past, before we had endovenous techniques of, of treating this sort of problem, what would we do? Well, we'd make incisions in the, over the varicose veins that we saw, and we'd ignore the possibility of an incompetent perforator below because there really wasn't a good treatment of, for those incompetent perforators. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a needle into that vein right there and seal that tract that's probably a centimeter or two at least in length, okay? We don't wanna seal the deep vein, but we do wanna seal the tract off the deep vein, uh, which is feeding those uh, varicosities. In addition to that, I'm gonna go down the leg here a little bit. There is a residual segment of saphenous vein that's about four centimeters in length that we're gonna to try to also seal. And you can see it here. That's actually in the muscle there, but it, here is the, we're gonna seal this thing. This looks to be another perforator right there. So rather than focusing on the greater saphenous vein, I'm going to focus on this, this perforator right here. And you can see that again, that's in the mid-calf, okay? And finally, down in the lower calf, there's a, very super, there's a very superficial vein up there, which is residual greater saphenous vein that I think, again, is, is coming off of this perforator. So rather than go after some residual GSV, your great saphenous vein, I'm going to focus on this uh, on the second perforator down here as well. And that should be fairly straightforward to cannulate. So you see that right there? Keep your eye on that one because we'll be getting that one also. The setup for perforator closure is the same as for any standard endovenous closure. Standard pack is on the, on the tray here, on the table here. We have the needle, we have the guide wire, we have the five French micropuncture kit.